Well, it's, it's tough to really gauge a lot out of this stuff. It's more, again, I think an educational kind of tutorial for us and for them. I and mean, we, we bring them in, we, we give them a lot of stuff to think about. And when they're going back to wherever they're come from, you know, whatever teams they're going to play on, think about what they're going to need when they get here. You know, what, what do they got to work on? What are the things that, you know, we've told them through what we've seen and the testing and that, that they got to get to to be able to actually play for us. And I mean, that's really the goal of the whole thing. You were on the ice with him yesterday, Roddy, coaching him up. Uh, how how important is it for those guys to get the, get that coaching, and, and do they they take to it pretty well? Well, you hope so. I don't. I mean, again, in a short time frame, you're really not expecting them to learn a lot, and you're really not teaching a lot. You're you're kind of giving them just some little tidbits here and there, um, maybe one or two things. If they come away with one or two things that help their game, that's great. But really, what we're hoping to do is just them to understand what they're going to need to do, you know, physically. What do they got to work on to actually take that next step? Because if they don't get better, they're not going to be here. So that's that's kind of the goal. You said you want to keep your team intact mm -hmm. as much as possible. Don, what Ailes said today that Curtis McElhinney will be going elsewhere. Just concerns there with goal team? Well, it's concern. Team? I mean, I get it. I understand these guys are, you know, everybody wants to get paid. And, you know, they're going to go chase the best contract they can get and I understand that it's a little disheartening at times but th that's the nature of the game and uh, you know especially at where he's at in his career I totally understand it uh, hopefully you know we can you know that'd be the only guy we lost that'd be real good but uh, I know that's that's the nature of the game and at the end of the day we're gonna have a real good team whenever September rolls around and we get all the pieces put together and you know we'll go from there you said something about Trying to talk to him. Justin Williams about coming back. Have you talked to Peter Morazic as well? Yeah, or? talked to all the guys, and okay. I, I get where they're coming from. And I think uh, you know, as long as we're, you know, in my opinion, the organization is, is you know, trying to get these guys signed and offering fair deals, which I, we have on everybody. So I feel really good about it. Then that's all we can do. And then it's up to them to make the decisions they got to make for them and their families. And um, you know, Willie's a kind of a different case because of where he's at in his career. And, um, but I, I mean, I'm hope that, it, and really, it comes down to his decision. I mean, that's a, a unique kind of position to be in, whether you want to play or not. It's not whether we want him or not, and, and so that that's going to be a, an interesting one. Um, you know, I hope he comes back. If Williams doesn't, uh, uh, I'm sorry. If he doesn't decide to come, who, who steps up and, and fills his leadership role? Yeah, that's. I'll figure that out when it gets time. I mean, we have. I I, I feel good about that. We you know. This, the culture that you know Justin helped to you know establish here this year, we, we, I think a lot of guys have stepped up and understand now a little better what it takes to be a leader and, and really what being a hurricane is all about. So, accomplished what you know he needed to do, and obviously I still hope he's back to keep forging that home. Do you feel a little more comfortable now this off season that you know what it, being a head coach is like, and there's not as much unknown and wondering what you're going into now? Yes and no. I mean, I think sometimes, like I said out there, it's always better not knowing what you're getting into than now I know, man, all the stuff we got to get done and, um, you know, personnel, whatever, you know what you're missing. You know, sometimes you don't know is better, but uh, uh, no, I, I definitely feel more comfortable in, in these shoes.